Today we're going to look at some poetry terms. We're going to start with onomatopoeia, then look at imagery, simile, we've seen that before, metaphor, then we're going to go into personification, and we'll finish up with alliteration. So let's start off with onomatopoeia. Onomatopoeia are words that help us to hear the sounds in writing. Like tweet or bang. These are sound words. Onomatopoeia. Let's take a look now at imagery. This is using descriptive words to create mental images. Images in your mind. Things like the pale blue sky filled with puppy clouds. You can picture it. Or a butterfly dancing and fluttering in the breeze. You can see the image in your mind. Simile we've seen before. This is using like or as to compare two unlike things. So as busy as a bee. Or life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Both of them use like or as. But metaphors compare two unlike things. And they don't use like or as. They do not. So, he is a walking dictionary. We're comparing him to a dictionary. Or she is a shining star in her class. Neither of those use like or as, so they're metaphors. Personification is our fifth term. And personification is giving non-human items human characteristics. Let's take a look at some examples. The rain is dancing on the roof. Rain does not really dance. Or the sun is smiling on us today. It doesn't really smile. We're giving it human-like characteristics. Alliteration. These are our tongue twisters. It's the repetition of the same sound over and over again. Like hungry, hairy. Hurried home to Huntsville from the hot hurricane in Hawaii. It's tricky to say. Or Pete the Penguin likes pizza and pickles. The same sound is repeated over and over again. It's alliteration. Onomatopoeia, imagery, simile. Next we had metaphor, personification, and last but not least, alliteration. These are our terms for poetry. I hope you got it all, and I'll see you tomorrow.